Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, we're going to be doing things just a little bit differently this week. We're going to unbox this LED light bar, and then we're going to get it installed on the truck, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So stick around. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this new light bar. This is the Nylite part number 70015C-A. The link to that's in the description of the video. You'll notice it's packaged fairly well. They put foam on each end of the light bar to keep it from getting damaged during transit. It's got a good quality pigtail on it and most of the back of that thing is actually a big old heat sink. Front looks a little bit hazy. That's because of the protective film to keep the glass from getting scratched. And there's even a card in the box that has a QR code you can scan to contact Nylite if you run into any difficulties. Also comes with two rubber mounting feet, the mounting and installation hardware, the mounting brackets that are knurled to keep it into position, Allen head screw and washer to mount the bracket to the bar, and the Allen wrench you need to do so. Alright, go ahead and start out by cutting the positive and negative wires on the light bar pigtail to a length of approximately one inch. Now strip one quarter inch of insulation from the red and black wires, twist the strands together to prevent them from fraying during the installation of the butt connector. We're going to be using heat shrinkable butt connectors for the wiring harness. Now my wiring harness has a removable pigtail for the light bar end. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the connectors on that pigtail first. Now crimp the light bar wiring to the wiring harness pigtail. If your harness does not have a removable pigtail, don't make these electrical connections until you've installed the light bar. And now use a heat gun to heat shrink the butt splice connectors. This will give you a permanent waterproof connection. At this point, I went ahead and removed the protective film from the front of the light bar, but if you choose to, you can wait to do so until after the light bar has been installed. Now place a flat washer onto the Allen machine screw. Place that machine screw through the recessed hole in the mounting bracket. Install the mounting bracket onto the light bar, but don't completely tighten it. The mounting bracket should still move freely. Repeat on the other side. Test fit your light bar at your desired mounting location. Use a center punch to mark the location of the mounting bolt holes. The mounting bolts are spaced at 23 and a half inches on center. Drill a 21 64 inch hole at both previously marked locations. Insert the supplied hex head mounting bolt into the mounting bracket. The bracket is designed to prevent the head from turning while tightening. Now place a rubber mounting foot onto the hex bolt. These prevent marring and also keep the bolt from falling out during installation. Place the mounting bolts through the mounting holes. Since they won't be visible during the next step, here's the proper order for the fasteners. Place the flat washer, then the lock washer, and finally the nut. Using a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten the mounting nut. Avoid over tightening as this can damage the rubber mounting feet. Position your light bar at your desired angle. Use the included Allen wrench to fully tighten the machine screws attaching the bracket to the light bar. You may have to make some final adjustments to the angle but as you can see, this light bar really throws a focused beam of bright white light. All right, guys. Well, that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you out. Guys, this little light bar is awesome. So check out the description of my video. I've got a link to the product. You can go check it out for yourself. Guys, if you would, please take a moment, 
give this video that thumbs up button and if you're checking me out for the first time guys i post a tip or trick video that covers a fishing or boating related topic every week so while you're here hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it that way you don't miss a video that's all i've got for this week folks take care until next time we'll catch you out on the water